She has already had a number of steamy sex scenes in the first season of her new series The Sinner. And Jessica Biel revealed what her husband Justin Timberlake thinks about on-screen intimacy with her co-stars. The 35-year-old actress appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show on Friday as she explained that being fine with your partner kissing on camera just comes with marrying a thespian. Ellen, 59, asked Jessica what her 40-year-old husband thought about her make-out scenes. The Fudge entrepreneur replied, It's one of those weird things that when you're married with an actor, you kind of have to be okay with. It's never yeah, alright, fist bump, alright. It's never that, but you just understand it, he has to do it. You just get used to it. The chat show host, who obviously knows about the racy content in her USA show, replied, I know you're squeezing a lot, there's five of them. <music> Jessica had a chuckle as she agreed, it was a lot, this one was a lot. I do have to say that. The latest, and penultimate, episode of her series The Sinner definitely had a lot of steamy scenes. Jessica Biel found herself a part of, yet more explicit scenes, that showed her character, Cora Tonetti, taking part in a drug-fueled orgy. Clad in a skimpy pair of shorts and a kami top, the actress was seen kissing her co-star Nadia Alexander, who plays Cora's sister Phoebe, before then romping with two different men. Putting on a steamy display in the sultry scenes, Jessica's character is seen writhing around on the floor in her barely there ensemble, before appearing to romp with co-star Gary Hilborn who plays Todd, a friend of Frankie Belmont, the man Beale's character had brutally murdered. Cora is seen snorting a white powder before then indulging in a cocaine-filled sex session which sees her kiss her on-screen sister and Frankie, played by Eric Todd, before having sex with his pal. The graphic scenes see Jessica's character Cora dripping in sweat and revealing her incredibly taut stomach as she lifts her top up towards her bust. At one point she is seen pulling an orgasmic face, while her mouth is being prized open, before then kneeling as her character romps with one of the men. In the eight-part limited series, Beale's on-screen alter ego Cora is arrested after stabbing Frankie to death on a local beach and in front of her husband and young Song. Detective Harry Ambrose, Bill Pullman, is investigating the case and has been trying to uncover why the suburban mother of one had committed murder, with fans learning little of Cora's motive in the first few episodes of the series. She had claimed she had sex with Frankie after meeting him in a bar several years ago, adding that he had told her he was named Jay. D, confusingly the name of her boyfriend at the time, but couldn't remember much of their meeting. All was then revealed to viewers as the seventh episode of the series included a flashback that finally explained why Cora had brutally murdered Frankie and how the two characters' paths had crossed. Phoebe's heart had failed, 
while she was sleeping with Frankie during the group's drug-fueled after-party, sparking the downward spiral of Beale's character. Previously speaking about the twisted nature of the series, Jessica explained she had to examine her darker side to understand Cora as a character and claimed it had been a transformative experience. She told Marie Claire magazine, I have challenges standing up for myself sometimes. Times when I don't trust my own voice. That's the stuff I needed to bring out and explore to understand Cora. It's like a drug, like an adrenaline rush. There's a real catharsis. You're exhausted, you are free, you feel a lot of different things. For me, it's like a rebirth.